Now we are talking about vascular access sheets. Here is a five French vascular access sheath with a sidearm with a dilator in it. And I'm basically going to be talking about this device. It took me a long time to understand this device. It probably took me a year to really understand this device. And now I'm going to show you exactly what this device is about. All right. Five French vascular access sheath. So to start, this is the sheath with the dilator attached. All right. <clears throat> this dilator comes out, and the first thing to know about this is that the dilator is only used to access the blood vessel. All right. This provides a nice smooth taper, so once you get into the blood vessel, you take the dilator out, and now you have a 5 French access into a blood vessel of choice, usually the right common femoral artery in the groin. All right. So a sheath is more or less just a... Uh, tube that goes into the blood vessel and gives you access to that blood vessel for use for diagnosis or treatment. Okay. Now if you look though, it is not, this device is not just a simple uh, plastic tube. There's some additional components and that's what makes it a little bit more complicated and harder to understand. All right, so we're going to go through this. So basically for this whole yellow portion, that is just a plastic tube. All right. This portion here, this is actually a valve. Okay. The back end of the sheath is valved. All right, why do we do that? The valve is here to prevent blood from escaping from the sheath. This is just a plastic tube going into blood vessels, so blood would basically be pouring out of this. All right, without this valve. The other thing is, is when I'm advancing a device such as a catheter into the sheath, I don't want air to enter in. So this actually kind of forms a nice tight seal around the catheter and prevents air from entering uh, into the sheath along with the catheter. Okay, both important things. All right, so most devices, if you notice, now I'm just going to show another device here. This is a 5 French vascular access catheter, and you see the back end here. This back end is a lower lock. All right, most, of, most devices, other than the sheets, have this lower lock on it. So why does it have the lower lock? It has a lower lock so that we could inject contrast or flush uh, directly into the back end of the catheter. Okay, I could have contrast in this syringe right here. I would basically be infusing contrast into the catheter. Now you notice that the now you notice that the sheath doesn't have that. Okay, I don't have a lower lock here. I can't attach this syringe into it. Okay, so that kind of gets into the point of the sheath. The point of the sheath is not to inject contrast through it. Really, the point is to have that five French access into the blood vessel so I can advance catheters, wires, devices, maybe coils, maybe an angioplasty balloon, okay? That's the, really the purpose of the sheath, all right? And that actually then brings me into the sidearm, okay? You see there's this sidearm attached to the sheath, okay? This used to confuse me, like, what the heck is this thing? And then all this is is, a, is an additional access to that sheath, okay? The sheath basically bifurcates right in this portion of the device here, and there's an additional component that just comes straight out and enters this piece of plastic tubing, okay? On the end of this plastic tubing is just a, uh, uh, basically a three-way stopcock, all right? So this thing, you can actually see, it says off there. So whatever this is turned to, it, uh, it's like a flow switch. It turns the flow off. So for example, if I put this sheath into a blood vessel, blood will start filling up actually this tubing. And if I don't have this turned off here, blood's going to just start pouring out of this hole. All right, so I usually have that off there. Now, what do we typically use this, uh, this sidearm for? We typically use it for attaching uh, flush tubing. We basically have a bag of heparinized saline, and we start to drip that in through this, and basically open it up so that the saline goes in through the stopcock, through this, and then basically keeps the sheath, uh, basically keeps some fluid running through the sheath. Now, why would we do that? Uh, basically, since this sheath is inside a blood vessel, and blood is going to be inside that sheath, anything that blood is inside or next to, uh, blood starts to clot, okay? I don't want clots to form in this sheath and then embolize distally into a blood vessel. So what I'm going to use this sidearm for is typically, again, typically, not everyone does this, but to infuse that uh, heparinized saline in through, this, uh, in through the stopcock and basically keep that sheath free of clots. Right? That's really the main use of this. Now, that's not the only use. Now, like I said, this is connected to the sheath, basically just like a extra, it's like an extra access. It's like a, you have a highway, and then you have an on-ramp onto the highway. That's all this plastic tubing is. It's just an on-ramp onto this highway of the sheath. 
All right, so what I could actually do, for example, if I wanted to say, infuse contrast to the sheath, uh, which I said earlier, again, I can't do it here, right? But if I in fact had contrast in this syringe and just hooked it up to the back end of this, uh, this, uh, this, the sidearm tubing, I could then actually, I would actually be able to infuse contrast right after the sheath. So I could actually do a angiographic run or I could do DSA imaging through the sheath if I wanted to. That's what the sidearm allows you to do. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and try to end this here. But basically, again, here is a five French vascular access sheath, okay? It's basically a plastic tube. The additions to that are basically this valve here and then this sidearm here, which is typically used to attach uh, flush tubing to keep the uh, sheath free of clots. The other thing you can do with that sidearm is you can infuse contrast to do a run. Okay, among, among other things. Right. So that's it. That's five French vascular access sheath with a sidearm. I'm Sherelle RMD. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Take care.